Yo, YouTube, what's up? This is going to be a new series, hopefully. A uh, book called Failing Forward. Um, I seen a wrestler post about it on Instagram. I forget if it was on Wrestling Mindset's Instagram and he was getting interviewed or if it was on his own. But he said he got some good information out of it. So I figured I'd read it. I read Chop Wood, Carry Water, and that was an awesome book. So this is the second one I'm reading. Um, I'm going to try to do each chapter, just kind of like a shorter YouTube video about each chapter. I'm going to try to get better at each one because I tend to repeat myself a lot in these videos. Just put my glasses on so you guys, you know, have the perception that I'm smart and everything like that. I know the background sucks. I got to figure out something to put back there so that you're not just looking into a white wall, but here we go. Chapter one, Failing Forward. It was kind of just an introduction to the book, obviously. Um, it was called, What's the Main Difference Between People Who Achieve and People Who Are Average? Um, and then it gave a good quote that I liked. We are all failures, at least all, all of the best of us are. We are all failures, at least all of the best of us are. So basically just saying that everyone that succeeds in something has failed. Okay? Everyone that you think is so great or done these huge things, they have failed in life. So uh, it's what we do after the failure that is what counts. Many ways to win, only one way to lose. Um, and that way, uh, another quote that I thought was really good was, there's many ways to win, but there's only one way to lose, and that's to fail and then not look beyond that failure. So let a failure be a stopping point for you, and you know, you never get past that. And that could be a lot of things for a lot of different people. Um, so for a wrestler, for example, it could be, you know, maybe you fail in the state championship or something like that, and you just never look past that, and you never, like, believe in yourself again or something like that um, because you think you're a loser because you never won a state championship or something like that. So um, you need to change your perception on failure, and I would assume that's kind of what this most of this book is about, um, but they kind of hit home in the first chapter about that. Um, and it talked about how failure isn't a single event, just like success isn't a single event. Um, it's a process. Both of them are processes. And so it's like you're going to fail over and over and over um, before you succeed. So it's not like, you know, this thing happened and now I'm a failure, right? It's, again, it's what we do after that that like, either makes us successful or a failure. Um, so we need to not fear failure and look to push past failure at all costs big thing from this chapter was they gave kind of a list of like what does it look like to fail forward what does it look like to fail backwards so failing backwards what does that look like blaming others repeating mistakes so obviously you know those are two big ones right there definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result um, expecting to never fail again but then also expecting to only fail right so obviously you know the goal is to not fail but more than likely we're gonna fail at something again even after we've had failures but if we also can't look forward and be like well what's the point I'm just gonna fail again and again and again what's the point of keep going forward right so we can't look at it like that either um, accepting tradition blindly this is basically not asking questions okay tradition obviously has its role um, there's ways that things get done and they've worked for people and that's what tradition is because people just keep doing it and doing it and doing it but these things can become outdated and we should know the reasons why we do things i think why is a pretty powerful question um, and it gives you a lot more motivation to do the thing that you're going to do um, if someone just tells me hey go do this and i don't know the reason why i might not do it with the same attitude as if they were like go do this because and that reason made sense to me being limited by past failures so we talked about that. Don't let your past failures limit you. Just keep pushing, okay? Keep believing in yourself. Quitting and then thinking you're a loser, right? If you quit, you obviously can't succeed. And then if you think you're a loser, it's gonna be really, really hard to succeed because you're, you gotta believe in yourself. So failing forward is kind of the exact opposite of these, obviously. So taking responsibility, opposite of blaming others. It's your fault. Why did we lose? what can you do better next time and move forward and take that responsibility on yourself um, learning so obviously if you fail and you don't learn anything the likelihood of you to fail again is probably pretty high failure is part of the progress just remembering that you're gonna fail in the pursuit of something great 
uh, having a positive attitude, that's pretty self-explanatory. Wake up with a positive attitude, go to practice with a positive attitude, go to work with a positive attitude, more than likely positive things will happen. Challenging outdated ways. This is kind of, you know, basically challenging tradition, right? Asking why. Why do we do things? And then going from there. Taking new risks. This is kind of similar to that as well. It's like, okay, if I think the traditional way is stupid, I'm going to take some risks and try to create my own way or take some risks and ask some people, hey, how do you do this? Maybe they do it differently and then I try to do it differently. And, you know, sometimes that's frowned upon wherever you're from or, you know, if everyone around you is doing it this way and you're doing it differently. That could be, you know, scary, but we can't fear that because we're looking to push beyond the average person. Believe in yourself and persevering. Obviously, those are pretty self-explanatory. If you want others to believe in you or you want to achieve great things, you should be have belief in yourself. Um, I think it starts there. And then persevering. Remember, failure is part of the pro process. So we're going to fail. We just need to be able to persevere through that and keep pushing. So I hope you like this video. I'm going to try to do each chapter. Hopefully, I can get a better background by the end of this book. Appreciate it, guys.